Hi everybody, very excited to be making this video where I'm going to be unboxing this George Harrison release from 2011, all those years ago now. It was the Living in the Material World set uh, that I didn't even know or even remember, I guess, was out then. So I was able to, to pick this up rather late in the game. Uh, and for those of you who really enjoy box openings unboxings stick around because the the next bunch of videos i do with the days to follow are, are going to be having other kinds of unboxings of paul mccartney archive sets and so forth so let's do it now first thing you always wonder when you're a collector like me you know i like to preserve original uh i don't know labels hype stickers stuff like that um, there's probably a better way to open this than I'm doing, actually. So, this is an X-Acto knife that I use, an artist's knife. This is the part where I know when I'm watching videos like this, I'm like, come on already, get going, you know? <laughs> Stop wasting our time. Can't you, you know, just forward ahead. So, maybe if I talk about some things while I'm doing this, like uh, saying that, you know, I got a real good haul the other day. You might have seen a video. If you haven't seen the video, look a couple of videos back from this one, uh, and you will see where I got a lot of good stuff at a pretty good price. I'm getting there, folks, and I picked a whole bunch of things. Sometimes you have good experiences like that. Where, you know, you get a lucky shopping day and you find good stuff. Other days you come up dry. All right. Well, I'm thinking now we might just tear this off. Oh, the hell with it. <laughs> I, I know that's going to be used, that little section. Woo! All right. Now, anyway, this is a lot like the, the, the White Album, the Beatles' White Album. Remember the way that was? It has a kind of a slip case here. It's a lot similar in design. This, this outer clear casing comes off. Can you say white album? Okay, let's see what we're going to do here. So it's got the little tab there where you can kind of like pull it up. This is the only problem with making videos like this. You, know, you get to see... Oh, this is old. This is really old. You get to see all the struggling that we do when trying to open this stuff. Oh, man. Might have to edit this. I think I'm going to. What's amazing about this is it's it's been so long and this is so old it's kind of stuck in here I don't even know how to get it out of here this is very interesting I it's either wedged in here and I can't open it or I'm not sure how it goes okay okay finally figured it out uh, the top opens I believe like that I'm over here struggling trying to get this thing out of the, pulling it out of the side, and it goes like that. All right. This is very cool. In fact, it looked like, was this magnetized? Mm. Interesting. Ta-da, there we go. What a great image of George. That, that's a great photo that they used to promote this. This project, the Martin Scorsese uh, documentary. Now, when you pull this little tab, I'm guessing it helps get the book out of there. Okay. For now, we'll discard this, shall we? Got a little piece of foam there. Foam in between. Well, they really did this up nice, huh? And look at that. 
nice photo of George. It's weird how this is. It's like a, a mat, photo mat. Huh. Well, it seems to be a mat. <laughs> so I don't see anything else there. Just want to make sure I haven't missed anything. No, that seems to be it. Suitable for matting. And there we go. How's that for young George, huh? All right. Uh, open this up. And there it is. Living in the material world. Talking about the film. And, uh... This is where the discs are con contained in there. You've got four discs. And uh, the first disc is a DVD of the movie. Yeah, I guess back in the day I just opted to get the uh, the movie itself because that's what I have is the movie. First disc, DVD, DVD disc one is the movie. Uh, DVD disc two is the movie part two. We got part one of the movie, part two of the mo movie. Uh, along with bonus features. Disc 3. This is weird. Oh, it's a Blu-ray. Disc 3 is the Blu-ray. Uh, and disc 4 was previously unreleased audio tracks. So basically, you got a Blu-ray of the movie and a DVD. See, that's the thing I always say, you know, for me personally, you buy something like this, why do I want, if I have a Blu-ray, which I do, I have the Blu-ray, why do I need DVD movie part one, DVD movie part two, when the Blu-ray has parts one and two together on the DVD? But, and bonus features on the Blu-ray. And uh, the previously unreleased tracks. Anyway, now as you turn this page over, it just tells you what everything is that we just looked at. Uh, and the music extras... These are things that we've seen before. I mean, I've seen them on the regular, what do you call the small uh, DVD set that I have of this. You know, George plays the ukulele, deep blue sound check from the concert for Bangladesh, Here Comes the Sun, Dispute and Violence, uh, interviews growing up in Liverpool, Paul McCartney, Neil Aspinall, uh, The Inner Light, uh, Jeff Lynn, etc. Interviews with everybody, and the audio CD. Uh, has a My Sweet Lord demo, Run of the Mill demo, I'd have you anytime. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Let It Be Me. It's the actual, I guess, uh, Early Takes Volume 1. So this thing came out in 2011, and we haven't had Early Takes Volume 2 ever since. Nine years, that's not long. Not long at all. Um, okay, so... I really don't want to stretch this open too much, but you can see, this would be nice, the whole image, I guess, opening up, you know, with the water all around it. So, we're going to look at some photos in here. Oh, lots of good stuff. We're going to begin, like, you know, with early pictures of George playing his guitar, learning his guitar. And we'll go ahead a little bit more. And there's a good picture of Ringo sitting in. George was always, always, until later years when it was too late, very fond of his Siggies. And the Siggies would be what would kill him. So don't smoke, folks, among other things. But uh, here's an old picture with wow, everybody's here. Pete Best. Stu Sutcliffe, John Lennon, and everybody that is there. Early shot. Now you could easily show every single picture in here, and as I usually say, we can't we can't do that. We're not gonna go there. We'll get to some Beatlemania pictures. During the height of Beatlemania. Uh
later on, here's a nice shot. Spiritual George, mystical George. It's amazing how all the Beatles had their own qualities, you know, and for George it was, you know, mystical and spiritual. Okay, now where have I seen this before, this picture? I've seen this somewhere recently, haven't I? I think I've seen this somewhere recently. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and we're going to get to just uh, another one here. Dark Horse Era. Well, it's a beautiful book, and I'm glad to have this. Got it for a reduced price because, you know, it's kind of old now, right? Not brand new. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this, and I can see the spiritual light of George coming in right now. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, George. God bless you. Thanks, everybody. Watch my next unboxing video.